Consultants, I believe, and here is what I want to promote today, is the visual information seeking process. <clears throat> this to me is the grand opportunity for the next decade. Current systems are still stuck in the valley of 1984. I'm not impressed by seeing 20, 30, or 60 icons on the screen. I want to see 6,000 icons on the screen. Uh, I want to see a lot of information on the screen organized in a very effective way. We've been developing these ideas over the past four or five years. Some of you in the past may have seen our uh, dynamic queries for the home finder, uh, which will show the video to reminder, remind you of. Um, showed a map of the Washington, D.C. area with a thousand points of light indicating homes for sale. You choose where you live, select the distance you want to be, and adjust it rapidly, incrementally, and reversibly to choose how far you want to be. You can then set the number of bedrooms you want and the cost. This was the film finder, which applied these approaches to choosing films by the length of the film, by names of actors and actresses, by categories of films. Those interfaces were dramatically successful, I believe, because they applied this information-rich principle. Thousands of homes on the screen at once, thousands of movies selectable in an interface that could be easily understood by users because there was a clear mental model. The map of Washington, D.C. provided a grounding for the placement of the homes. The Starfield display, which had axes which were uh, the year of production from 1920 to 1993, and then the popularity of the film from low to high popularity as measured by video store rentals, gave a framework, an environment by which people could understand that 80% of those films were made in the last 10 years. That kind of orientation enables people to take in remarkable amounts of information. Our perceptual skills are just startling and the current interfaces are not dealing with the human capabilities for visual perception. I see the direction of larger spaces, larger screens, more information in rapid presentation. Chris Alberg, who was the developer of the Film Finder uh, a year and a half ago, has continued his work at the University of Chalmers and developed a generalized system based on that tool called the Information Visualization Exploration Environment. Let's take a look at that tape. Why imports nearly any data set and allows users to easily create interactive exploration environments, in this case, for an environmental data set. The query component holds a number of query devices. Existing query devices are toggles, range sliders, and alpha sliders, which all interactively update the screen when manipulated. Several different visualization types are available star fields, that is, interactive scatter plots, geographic maps, and cluster visualizations. For geographic maps, vectorized background maps can be included. The map can be zoomed, either with the zoom bars or by pushing mouse buttons. Color scales and the other attributes of the visualization can be manipulated. Users can select any numerical attribute for visualizations. Notice the high chrome levels at some white positions in the star field. By zooming into these and then switch to the map view, we notice how the high chrome levels are located along rivers and lakes. Also notice how the zooming affects the query devices. They are tightly coupled to reflect the current state of the query. In this case, that means that the sliders show the minimum and the maximum of the currently selected elements. Users can receive details on demand by clicking on any element in the visualization. 
further demonstrate I, we will shortly show a reproduction of the film finder done with I. Using a star field with the year of production and length of the film attributes, users can browse the database utilizing the type coupling. We can zoom in, select only the drama films. Notice here how the career devices are updated. Select films directed by Bergman, and then browse the actresses in Ingmar Bergman's drama films. The tight coupling effectively avoids empty query results. I in that demonstration, there was a large amount of information, first on this map of Sweden, but then on abstract maps of, again, film finding would spread out over years and by lengths of films. It allows you, it's not a tool for novices as a walk-up kiosk as the, as the home finder might have been, but in this case, the patterns that could be found, the clusters of information, the jumps and the gaps become quite visible as you explore with the sliders in a rapid, incremental, and reversible fashion. In that environment, you're doing a query every tenth of a second as opposed to a query every hundred seconds. And so that thousand to one speed up that I'm seeking is possible in those kind of query environments. The dynamic queries which move sliders and change the display, the star field was clear, I hope, to you in laying out the information. And then the tight coupling Chris showed in a recent experiment was a dramatic improvement in a, in a job-seeking environment. Overall, the strategies that um, seem to be a winner that I keep coming back and rediscovering in our different projects are this, and that's why I've coined it as the visual information-seeking mantra, something to repeat as a reminder, because I keep forgetting. Overview first, a visual overview of the entire database is the place to go. See the entire Library of Congress at once. See the entire directories on your hard drive at once. See all the films in the database at once. That is a key. How do you make that? Well, that's the theme here. We'll show in a moment. Then, zoom in on the objects of interest, filter out the ones you don't want, and then go for details on demand. Now, the way to do overviews is what we are discovering and exploring, as well as many others. You've seen overviews in traditional tables of contents of books, uh, where they're nested and indented. And in fact, you may have seen dynamic outliners, which take that idea onto the computer in a very effective way. Providing the